This is the president's 11th visit to North Carolina since taking office. And there is Marine One touching down uh, after three Ospreys uh, touched down with the national media and staff. Of course, the uh, president was in Charlotte where he actually addressed the RNC after being officially nominated as the nominee for the Republican Party for president. And again, we are about 30 minutes behind schedule. He actually talked a little longer than expected at the RNC to a crowd there of delegates inside the convention center. And now, Tori, we can see Marine One is on the ground. We do know his daughter Ivanka is also in the chopper with him making their way to the airport now and we do have team coverage for you this afternoon we have a crew at the Asheville airport we also have a crew standing by uh, where he will be speaking this afternoon in uh, Mills River North Carolina where he will um, tour an agricultural facility there uh, with his staff he is also slated to speak there too um, so we will be standing by to hear from our own Shell Ramin and Carrie Weimer as well we do have a crew in Fletcher North Carolina as well where we know his motorcade will be traveling there from Asheville through Fletcher to Mills River and again, this is all for a trip uh, planned pretty last minute by the White House to Farmers to Families Food Box Program Distribution Site. It is there again in Mills River, as Tori mentioned. They're going to be uh, touring Flavor First. That is a... Uh, a, a business there that employs about 200 employees and they supply for about 30 local farms. And this is all part of a program approved by the USDA back in May. And from this distribution center there in Mills, about 50 to 70 million family sized food boxes have been sent out. These are grown by American farmers. Uh, they're packaged at this facility where the president and Ivanka will actually visit. And then they are sent into a refrigerated truck. You see it there behind them. They've gotten help from Baptist on mission as well. And Tori, what we know is these boxes include cherry tomatoes, table grapes, summer squash, eggplant. And this is what it's all focused around. Flavor First mentioned earlier this week that, uh, last week I should say, this isn't for them a political event. It's to shine light on farmers and how important they are in the nation's food chain, especially during COVID-19 because a lot of farmers took huge hits during this uh, pandemic, Tori, many going out of business. So they're using this to really shine the light on how important Western North Carolina farmers are to the country, especially with this program, which Ivanka was a big part of right. in getting this approved.